wonder what's taking Hank so long. I hope I didn't make a mistake by letting Hank go. I saw. <laughs> Good work. See? I knew having someone on the inside like that would work out. I've already put it in order for the equipment. I was going to ask you to pick it up for me, but there's a problem. One of my guys, Hank Ferraro, offered to go. I tried to tell him he'd be more useful sticking to his job here, but he insisted, and he was already on his way out before I could stop him. But it shouldn't be taking this long. Just a quick trip to Gagarin and back. I'm concerned. I could use some help with this. Oh, thanks. This is a huge help. You'll be happy to know I actually carved out some of the budget so I can pay you for all of your assistance. We don't currently have much information to go on. I'd suggest checking with Sidonia's ship services over at the starport first. They'd be the last person I know that's seen Hank. It's all I've got without sending you all the way to Gagarin to retrace his steps. Good luck. Looking for you. Let's talk. You should inspect. Hey, what can I do for you? Hmm. Let's see here. Hank. Hank. No one by that name. Oh, wait. Here we go. Henry Farrell. Hank's got to be his nickname. <laughs> yeah, he's been through here. Took a ship and departed. Actually. It looks like he came back into Mars space recently, but he didn't land here at the spaceport. The ship diverted and landed outside the city a ways. Yeah, something seems off about this. You're probably right that you need to work this out with your boss. Maybe some wires got crossed. Anyway, good luck and good day to you. near the railings on the upper levels. I wonder what's... I hope I didn't make a mistake by letting Hank go. Hmm, that's a little suspicious. Why would he do that? Moreover... Why wouldn't he return with the goods? Something's definitely up. I asked around while you were gone. Some of his co-workers mentioned he's been a little extra, well, Hank lately. In particular, he was cursing up a storm about work and about his co-workers. Said some things that make me think his intentions here were not pure. Anyway, he's not too bright. Maybe he's still here in Sidonia. Check the broken spear. He frequently goes there to drink. We need to get to the bottom of this. Now this is a real problem we've got. Mining's fair work, but you can't take it all... Yeah? I still think you're gonna find... Remember, it's most... Im we've got to do it before we lose track of it, before it gets sold, moved, or worse. 
and we've got to hope to whatever higher power you believe in that it wasn't jettisoned into space. We've got our work cut out for us. Good luck. If you are looking for spare parts, look elsewhere. It takes guts and character to be a miner out here. Questions, huh? Let me buy you a beer first. Here you go. Uh, anyway, I seen you talking to Trevor. What's someone like you doing sticking your nose where it doesn't belong? Huh. Okay, you got me. Yeah, I took it. Wanna know why? I had to. Those guys all think I'm some kind of joke. And I'm stuck with this stupid three-year contract. I can't afford to break it. So, screw Deimos. Screw Trevor and all the other miners. Losing that equipment's the last draw for them. Did he tell you that? One last failure in a string of failures to meet quotas. It'll be layoffs for everyone, and I won't owe Deimos a damn credit. Hmm. Oh, shit. You could turn me in. I'd be in jail, and then this be all for nothing. Damn it. Fine. You got me. I'll take you to where I stashed it, and we can haul it back. But you better not be lying to me about not telling anyone. Relax, hotshot. I ain't gonna shoot you in the back, if that's what you're worried about. Just, uh, follow me. We're going outside. Pardon. I know the day my employees down on Mars think I'm out there. What they don't know is that our safety is at the Been in the Vanguard a long time. The faces change, but bad guys are still bad guys. Got a minute to shout? so loud sometimes, you know? And I got good hearing, so I overheard you all talking about this equipment. I knew what it meant to everyone, and how screwed they'd all be without it. And then Trevor just lets me go pick it up because he thought I was showing initiative. 
It, it really was uh, the perfect plan. You know, it's too bad. I bet I could have made bank on selling this stuff. What do you think? 500 grand? Cool mill, maybe? But where would I even have sold it? Not like I would have been able to march pallets of mining equipment down to Jane's without anyone noticing. Probably best we're returning it, because what a nightmare that would have been trying to offload it. And trying to destroy it all would have been another huge pain in the ass. It's mostly metal, right? <laughs> What was I thinking? I guess I could have flown somewhere remote and buried it, dump it all in one of the old mines and forget about it. Huh, but then you would have been real screwed, huh? Good thing you found me before I did that, am I right? That's enough. Now face me, so I don't have to shoot you in the back. No. We got a problem we can't resolve. Namely, you know too much. Wait, really? Even if I don't go to jail? Not if I convince them you were behind it the whole time, newcomer. And after I kill you, I'll look like a hero. Sorry, but I can't. Sorry, but I gotta do this my way. And that means you need to die.
I'm looking. Any luck? Oh, do tell. What took him so long? Well, I can assume how that went from the fact that you're here and he's not. He worked hard, but he was a dumb kid. I just never thought he'd be that stupid. Or dangerous. It's a real shame. But I'm glad you managed to resolve it and get back our equipment. I'll take it from here. You really saved our asses. I'm not sure how I would have explained to the suits that we lost all that new stuff. Thanks. You're still looking at